Just forget the part. I'm in a pure panic right now. Don't be- I am super excited about this one today, okay? Uh, well, so many reasons, okay. First of all, never heard of this hot sauce company before. Second of all, okay. this sauce is one of the most insane sauces I've ever freaking experienced seen in my entire life, okay? We're gonna get there. He yelled at me to not look at anything. Don't look. And the third is that these sound amazing. Okay. okay. All right. So we have three sauces. One of them, okay, so my buddy Zach Perkins, High Desert Hot Sauce Company. Yeah. He was talking about Irish Spikes Hot Sauce Company, okay? Then my buddy Charlie messaged me and be like, hey, did you get any sauce from, uh, from Irish Spikes? I'm like, no. And I said, yeah. so I started looking at the website. I'm like, holy crap, these sauces sound amazing. So I ordered a six pack. Is that just, a, just a quick sixer. I ordered a six pack quick of it. Quick sixer. Plus, when I ordered it, the company, for our Irish Spikes, sent in four more. So I have 12 bottles of their hot sauce now. So I'm taking hot sauce <laughs> home with me. Yes, okay. So we have three. We have a black coffee mole, which is the second that I saw this, I'm like, all right, I'm sold. I love mole. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. And then this is one of the two that Zach sent over, which is a drunken red. It's a beer-based habanero. And then number three, this is called idiot sauce, the sauce of all sauces. He took all of his sauces and he mixed them all together and then added peppers to it to make it even hotter. There, look at the freaking ingredients. See if you can see that. There is... Oh, he, he color coded it too. So like this is this sauce. Yes, that's I'm that sure. sauce. Yes. So there's probably a hundred ingredients in this hot sauce. Do Maybe I have, more. Do I have to guess numbers on that? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell me which number the lime is. <laughs> like eighty fourth. It, it might be. Who knows? <laughs> um, so he's saying, okay, the last one, the heat, the sauce of all sauces, idiot sauce, whatever you want to call this sauce. They're saying heat level eleven out of ten. So it's a hot one. Look at this. It comes with a free comic under the under the paper too. Or I've never. I'm so happy. Heat level 5 out of 10. Okay. We got a heat level on here. 7 out of 10. Alright, so we got our... Man, we're starting at a 5 out of 10? Starting at a 5 out of 10. Uh, okay. Wow. So many, okay, so many things are happening. Um, okay, these are extreme. I'm not going to lie. These are extremely busy labels. Like, so much information. Just like... They're crazy. They look awesome, but there's a I lot like the of matte. I like the matte finish. I do. Okay, so you got, you know, you got the thing. You, the got, the, you got the logo. You got the heat level. Love it right there. Uh, handcrafted for flavor. All right, what do we got here? Uh, there's a website, flavor, balance heat, probably made with Kamiak Ka coffee. So it's got the coffee that's in there, labeled by Jessica Schoenberger. My God, there's a lot of information on here. It's got her Instagram on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ingredients are a lot. Vinegar, apple cider vinegar, brewed coffee, which is coffee and water, lime, ketchup. Sorry, Justin. Uh, salt. What's <laughs> sure? Chili, ball, cinnamon, garlic, onion. cocoa, uh, tahini, sesame oil, paprika, cumin, coriander, sugar, uh, red pepper flake, cayenne, oregano, black pepper, cilantro, basil, nutmeg, cloves, and xanthan gum. Just forget the part. Let's I'm go. in a pure panic right now. Don't be. You're gonna be fine, man. You're not gonna even know. You're not gonna taste it. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna try to power through. You're gonna be fine, man. It'll be like ranch powder. You'd be all right. You did ranch powder? I, yeah, dude. I, I've done a lot of ranch things on accident recently. You're going to be okay, man. You're not even going to know. You're going to be fine. Ranch is... Or Justin, ranch. Justin isn't a favorite ketchup. <laughs> a favor? Uh, isn't a fan of... I cannot talk at all. today. You can be at fine. All. You're not going to even know. To me, it didn't say ketchup. It said tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> read that one wrong. Ooh, it's, oh, my God. It smells... All right, dude, the cinnamon, coriander, cumin, that situation, okay. all over the place. As long as you didn't say, oh, it smells like ketchup. Nope, it does not at all. What's the pepper we got going on here? Chili dirt bowl. That's it? And that's a five out of ten? I think it's the hottest pepper. A cayenne? See what I'm saying? Dude, flavor bomb. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Ooh, beautiful texture. Yeah. Look at how pretty this is. Watch, watch people. This is a pretty... This is the cumin I'm smelling, too? Focus. Dude, it's that whole cumin coriander situation. Definitely getting that cinnamon on the back burner of Dude, it, too. Dude, it pours beautiful. <clears throat> Lots floating in it. Mmm. Dude, spice bomb. All right. Cheers, man. Holy texture. A little bit of hit of vinegar. I'm getting the vinegar. The, I get the cayenne. The cayenne. 
I get the. Um, so I got cinnamon. Cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. Yeah, I got cinnamon, big time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's pretty mm -hmm. good. Um, lots of coriander, lots of cumin. I'm really, really getting that. Yeah. That cinnamon really comes in on the back end and sticks around. Mm -hmm. Like, that's like the lasting flavor I have in my mouth right now. I've never had a mole that's like this. No. Um, no. I'm not really getting like the bitterness from like the. I need to taste this again real quick. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna not taste yeah, it. Yeah, Justin's afraid of the uh, the ketchup. It's, it's it's just in his mind too. There's no. I, it's a mental thing. There's not one ketchup flavor oh, happening right. in the sauce. No, but the cinnamon is what stuck around for me. Like you get that cumin and cayenne up the front end of it. Is there? Did I say lime? Lime. Like I get the lime. There's like a tanginess to this sauce. There is. There is absolutely a tanginess to it. Like mole is complex. Mo it's very complex. Moles normally have like a way more earthiness to mm, yes. them. Yes. You know, like yes. and like a bitterness. This goes on the opposite route, like a tangy lime situation. I don't mind it. It's just it's different than any sort of it's like its own mole. style of mole. It's a different kind of. Mole I'm shocked. I've we, ever had. Like with coffee being so high on the list, like I didn't taste any coffee whatsoever. It ta this tastes far different than I thought it was going yeah, to. Yeah. I thought it was like the coffee I thought we were going to I thought you were going to get like a dark roast coffee taste. I thought we were going to double down on the yeah. earthiness. But this has got like a brightness and a tanginess yeah. to it. So it's like, it's a very refreshing yep. t take on a mole. Good mole. It's, it is tasty. Yep. I will say that. Um, extremely complex. Um, I like this a lot. Even though it's different from any mole I've ever had. Okay. Moving on. Let's put this down there. If that's a five. I'm less scared of this now. Yes, because I'm literally oh, a one. Dude, yeah, heat scale one. 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 Yeah. Okay. So this is the Drunken Red. Uh, Zach says he loves this sauce. Uh, it's vegetarian and/or vegan. It's a seven out of ten. Uh, do a description on here. Same thing. Flavor first. I love it when people say flavor first. Like that's so important. Okay. Ingredients are uh, tomato sauce. Uh, malt, vinegar, red habanero, Matt, didn't say ketchup, it's tomato sauce, man. Are you sure? I'm, it, says, it says tomato sauce. Okay. Okay. Um, malt vinegar. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Red habanero mash. Awesome. Uh, apple cider vinegar. Beer wort. I love that. Is the what? Wort. I don't even know what that is. It's the wort from beer, so it's the, uh, it's unfermented beer, basically. Okay. Um, which is water, okay, water, harps, and barley. So yeah, it's before the fermentation, so it's, 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 it's very, very sweet. So there's a <clears> sweetness <throat> to it, like a malty sweetness. Um, lime, sugar, arrowroot, cilantro, garlic, onion, oregano, cumin, black pepper, and xanthan gum. I've never seen the wort from beer added. I slaughtered that. Sorry, people. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's the pepper? Oh, habanero mash. Habanero. So seven out of ten. I'm like saying things and it's just like I'm going going in and out, completely out of my head. <laughs> just like talking and not retaining anything. That sounds, that's what it sounds. I cannot, I am a mess today. Well, that we'll, smells we'll get, we'll get through hot. It, it smells kind of hot. But it smells like it's hotter than it should be. Ooh, it smells, smells like a super hot. That's what I'm saying. It smells like a super hot. It doesn't smell like- Like uh, that very distinct pepper smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell like, um, like habanero mesh. It smells like hotter than that. I didn't say anything hotter, did I? I don't Red think so. Red habanero, apple cider, beer, bird, lime, sugar, air. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it smells hotter than it, than it should. Okay. I'm not smelling the, um, the beer wort. Really. No. It's got a very like... It's that pepper distinct, smell. Distinct flavor. Sticks, or it's flavor. Stands out. My god, people. Distinct aroma. It's like, uh, think of like a sweet oatmeal-y like, kind of aroma. That's what the wort smells like in hops. Um, okay. Um, uh, again, beautiful texture. I love the spice, the spice bill they're using in this. Like, so much floating What's the in that? dark in it? Dude, it can be anything. It's, um... Or something like dark green that looks floating in it? Cilantro, cilantro, oh, okay. garlic, there, yeah. onion, oregano. Oregano could be could anything. Be all could of be those, anything. Yeah. Black pepper, could be so many things. Okay, cheers. Ooh, pizza vibes. Yeah. Hot. <coughs> Hot. A spicy. That's spicy. Does have pizza sauce vibes. Yeah, it's got a, it's got pizza vibes. Um, <coughs> I mean, the first ingredient is tomato sauce. You get the habanero. I think habanero is a great choice in pepper for this. Um, it's got the stingy it's got, feel. It's got, it's got a stingy feel. To it. Back of the throat sting. This is like, it's it's like okay. So they're saying beer based habanero. This is almost like a, it's like a table sauce with a um, 
well, like a twist on it, you know, like yeah. going like doubling down on the flavor profile, like going more towards like with the pizza sauce, like <sighs> I have a hard time like explaining like. Well, how I'm trying I, to think what it would be feeling about good it. on or with or like. I mean, I mean, I, you could put that uh, table pa- sauce, pasta. I see. I was thinking like chili and stuff. Chili. Like, like, I was thinking any, chili. That was the first that, thing that stood out to me. The only thing I'm, I'm like, there's so much flavor to it that I think that you have to have like a competing flavor with the food that you're eating. Yeah. Like it's got to be something like richer, fattier. I think. I mean, this would be great on pizza. But he also has like two pizza, actual pizza he has hot pizza sauces. Pizza sauces. That's He's got pretty a pesto cool. Pesto pizza like, sauce and a pizza. That's sauce. incredible. Pesto sauce. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, that's that would like, be good. So, I almost feel like this is like one of those, but it's not. You know. So, but this is going towards like a pizza Italian In that vibe. You know, it's got the family. red sauce vibe. Um, I'm not getting the the sweetness from the wort though. No. Um, but I'm getting a lot of the um, like the. The, the, that lime sugar coriander cumin like that whole spice package um tasty 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 um okay, heat scale three three yeah I'm, about, I'm in like the two three I'm dissipating range. pretty quickly you know but it's pretty hot it got a definitely got a high sting probably using Paradise Creek beer products I like how he gives a shout out to the companies that he, yeah. he's um working with it's like a YouTube description box dude it's, uh, dude there's so much information on these it's like labels. a YouTube description box all right I'm not gonna read every ingredient in this third sauce because <laughs> I'm not kidding I'll... it's I mean it's every sauce look at that it's literally there's probably over a hundred oh there's probably 150 ingredients in this in this okay I, we asked to get the comic though so we pull the plastic off and a comic falls out which is I have never seen this and I no, am, it's pretty I'm cool. here for I'll show you guys. So it's this is the comic right here. I don't know where my focus is. Isn't there a, like a urban legend where a bunch of people went into King Tut's and I then like so. nine people died? Something like that, yeah. There's the comic. <clears throat> I like it. I'm sure. in. I'm here for it. Yep. A, it, a little added uh value to the to the bottle. It's a good situation. Yeah. Eleven out of ten. So it's a mixture of all their sauces together. And you, then probably they find add, you can probably find the ingredient list on their website. They add scorpion, scorpion maruga peppers to make it Great. stupid hot. Great. What? Okay. I don't know if I should believe this. So the ingredients are scorpion maruga peppers plus everything all of that. else. So, so I mean, it's above it. That's what I'm saying. So technically, well, but, it's scorpion I mean, peppers above everything else. When you're adding that much to something, it's going to dilute everything pretty heavily. Yeah, but they're saying by weight that scorpion peppers is the number one ingredient in this sauce, technically. Which is kind of scary. But I bet a lot of their sauces have the same ingredients, and I, I wonder if they factored in that weight. Like, double it. I don't know what's... You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what's happening. I understand what you're we saying. We might die. Uh, it just smells crazy. We might die. Yep. Oh. Force fast. <laughs> there's a lot going on in it. I mean, uh, there's just like a bazillion spices and peppers and things happening in this. There's beer in the sauce. It's hopped. There's coffee in it. There's tomato sauce. There's ketchup in it. <sighs> I had to remind you of that. Sorry. A very small amount of it, but yeah, it's there. I mean, it smells like a super hot. Does it? I mean, I think so. It smells warm. not not as. It doesn't smell like the. Straight on, like that typical super hot pepper smell. I just get like, I get like vinegar and insanity. Like, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Cheers. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's kind of tasty. It's actually pretty good. That's pretty tasty. For what it is, I didn't know what to expect. It's growing. It's like, it's like vinegar and complexity. Like yeah, it's, it's just vinegar yeah. and insane. Yeah, it does. Uh, you did the only one that really stood out to me was the vinegar. And there's texture though. There's a lot of texture to it. Like all the sauces have insane texture. Yeah. I'm this just, one it smelled. It felt like like some seeds and stuff like that. Like yeah, the, the, I'm just getting like all of those like spices that he likes to use, like the cumin, the coriander, the um. It's building. It's a the, slow builder, but it's building. I like how he kept the seeds in there. Like adds like a little bit of texture to it. Yep. Well, I mean, it like, would have been, like, with, without sauce. the seeds in there, it would have been a very, very loose sauce. Mm-hmm. A very thin yeah. sauce, you know what I'm saying? But they all pour, which is great. Yeah, oh yeah. You know? And the first one was pretty thick, and it still poured pretty well. 
I agree with you. Um, I don't know how I feel about this sauce, but I do like it a lot. It tasted good. Yeah, it tastes good. I just don't know how to explain. I can't even get close mm. to explaining what I'm tasting. Um, other than like you get a vinegar and you get some texture, you get a lot of spices and you get a lot of Eat. other stuff and it's good. And some meat. So, I don't know, a hot everything sauce? Yeah. It's like, yeah, exactly. Hot everything. Yeah. Okay. One of the weirdest hot sauce companies I've experienced in a long time. Yep. And I'm a fan of these sauces. They found they, their market though. They are weird, they are cool, they are interesting, and they are different. Yep, exactly. I am here for it. It's a good situation all around. In the description below is a link to Justin. Justin has done one of the coolest things I've ever seen with an RC car. That's next week. That's next week. This week he's done something extremely cool as well, but not the coolest thing I've ever seen. Next week is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This week is is an extremely, extremely, extremely cool thing. <laughs> so check out Justin. Also in the link in the description is going to be the craziest hot sauce company I've experienced in a long time, which is this right here, Irish Spikes. I'm a fan. Check them out. Thank you. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.